Devour. Devour. I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Hello everyone and welcome to a new edition of GSP Tries It. Fast food, fast food, right? Hopefully I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> This one being kind of almost a revisiting. And what I mean when I say that is that when I first moved to our, our new home here in Washington State back in the summer of 2014, the first, very first thing that we tried was the brand new quesarito from Taco Bell because it just seemed interesting. A quesadilla and a burrito combined. If you remember, it was very cheesy. It was pretty good, but it wasn't amazing. I thought it was okay, but of course, it's incredibly bad for you. I'm salivating at the goddamn mouth. Fast forward to now. And they have a new version of this. First of all, it was so popular, this quesarito, that they kept it on the menu. They never took it off. It's been on the menu since then. So a good, you know, eight, nine months it's been on there. So people must like it. Uh, the quesarito that we're about to try today is a new thing. It is a new fad that we found among foods. The sriracha spice, which I believe sriracha is a kind of pepper. And it uh, has been finding, if you're finding sriracha in a lot of different foods, these Asian food, Mexican food. So this is the sriracha quesarito. I ordered the beef. You can also get this in the steak and chicken varieties. Just to, to clarify, the beef is only about three bucks. I believe the steak and chicken are roughly about a dollar more, maybe a little less than that. So you're talking about th between three to four dollar price range to get your quesarito and the sriracha spice. And, you know, the regular quesarito basically just tastes like cheese, meat, and a few things. Not that much. This one having a spice in it may actually be a little different. So here it is, right? It's your typical tortilla that you would have the, the quesadilla in, but in the form of a burrito. Oh, I want to fuck her brains out. I have no fucking self-control. So I'm about to try. I'm going to see. Does the sriracha spice make a difference? Does it make it taste any better than the regular quesadilla that I tried last year? Let's find out. So, it's nicely done. Nothing dripping or anything, which is good. It's supposed to be in there. Let's see. Devour. Devour. Hmm. Oh, it's it's gross. My disgusting pig-like mouth. Hello, Mr. Piggy. Ziggy Piggy. Well, I'm gonna be honest, I taste a little bit of spice. A tiny bit. Almost none. And I don't know if it's just, it was a bad bite, you know what I mean? Is all the, the sauce on the other end of this thing? Or is it just really not that spicy? I'll take another bite. Devour. Devour. Hmm. Mm. I love the red meat. All right. I got a little bit more spice that time. It's a tiny little bit of a kick to it. A little bit of heat. It's almost not flavorful though. You know what I mean? Like it's cheese and meat. I got a tiny bit of burn on my tongue. I'm gonna take one more bite. See if it makes any kind of a difference here. That's it, I'm going beast mode. Ah! You feed, feed me more. Feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Go, 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 Not really. No. No, I don't, again, maybe it's a dud. I don't know. I got to judge off of what I got here. There is spice, but there's not a lot of it. It's not hot in any way, shape, or form. For the fact, take a look at this. For the fact that the paper shows a ton of flaming peppers. I don't know. Maybe they didn't put enough, but for me, it's, it's okay. I actually think, I'm going to be honest with you, I think it does taste better than the other quesarito. The other quesarito, all you really tasted was cheese, meat, and sour cream. <clears throat> that was it. It was like a big globular, you know, concoction of goo. This at least has a little bit of a kick to it, so you get a little bit more. I would like this better 
we had some tomatoes if you had anything you know let us something else to put in it not just this mess look that i'm squeezing out of it and it really is just cheese meat sour cream and a tiny tiny bit of spice now in fact i'll take one more bite just to be fair devour devour in fact you can see here phil has gouty fat butt So the yellow is the cheese, the orange is supposed to be the sriracha spice, see that? And now I'm tasting it a little bit more, I'm actually glad that I, I took that bite. It is a little bit hotter on that side, so they really made me a lopsided quesarito is what they did. But now I can taste it, it actually is a lot hotter, so. So for what it is. They are very high in acid. It's true acid levels for your body. So if you actually eat a lot you're actually going to raise the natural acid level of your body and make yourself susceptible to diseases that have to do with acid, including one that I know to all too well, gout. Um, I learned the hard way, okay? Now, what ended up happening was I ended up getting an acid level uh, imbalance back in 2015, which I didn't know I ever had, but apparently it's hereditary in my family because my aunt had it her whole life and didn't fucking tell anybody. Thanks, aunt. Feels a gaudy fat but Feels a gaudy fat but I like it, but at the same time, is anything better that you're going to run out and want to buy it if you had already tried the quesarito? I don't think so. Unless you really tried the quesarito and you were like, man, I wish it had more burn to it or whatever. Because really, that's all I'm tasting now. A little bit of burn on my tongue and that's it. It's not like it's any kind of amazing better flavor or anything. For the price point, three bucks for a big burrito that's going to fill you, it's good. But is it healthy? Absolutely not. But I don't think you're looking for that if you're getting the quesarito at Taco Bell. Uh, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. It's definitely not bad. It's, it's not terribly average because it has this, this, it kicks it up a notch with the spice. But as you can see in mine, it was kind of a fail because all the spice was on one side and that might happen to you too. So 3.5 out of 5 for the sriracha quesarito. Try it if you want a little bit more of a kick, but it's not anything that you need to run the Taco Bell for, okay?